Thank you, Luke. On this Veterans Day, a Western New York family is in Florida preparing to witness the honor of a lifetime for their fallen son. This is the story of a ship named for Corporal Jason Dunham and a patriotic journey that began when he joined the Marines. News 4's Lori Schultz has more tonight. Lori? Yeah, that's right. The emotional journey continued today for the Dunham family of Allegheny County. They're in Port Everglades, Florida, where the Navy ship bearing the name of their son will soon be put into active service. There have been many Navy destroyers built, but few as special as the USS Jason Dunham. It pulled into Port Everglades, Florida last week. Now, members of the Western New York Patriot Guard are there, gearing up for Saturday's commissioning ceremony. It blew me away when, when the Commander Serretta asked me if there was a chance we might be able to bring some bikes down to the commissioning. This was over a year ago at the Dunham House. The top-of-the-line warship bears the name of Marine Corporal Jason Dunham. He was the Western New York native who grew up in Sayo and became a modern-day hero in 2004 when he sacrificed his life to save two fellow Marines from a grenade attack in Iraq. Both of those men are expected to take part in Saturday's ceremony, along with Dunham's parents. Last year, his mom, Deb, christened the ship. The award is something that he would be very honored and, and proud of because of the military standing behind it. For Dan and I, it's just a, it's an acknowledgement of what his actions were, and that's the way he lived his life. Saturday, Deb will take part in a time-honored tradition by giving the first order to the crew, man our ship and bring her to life. She's got a heart as big as her son's ship. The 22-year-old corporal was the first Marine to receive the Medal of Honor in the Iraq War and the first Marine to be so honored since the Vietnam War. Being a part of history in the making will be a proud moment for Patriot Guard members as they form the flag line of honor. Everybody coming into the commissioning will pass the flags uh, and the members holding um, the flag line, which we do at uh, funerals and uh, in uh, memorial services for veterans. And more than 5,000 people are expected to attend the commissioning this weekend. Inside the ship, there are all sorts of reminders of Corporal Dunham, including his high school baseball jersey and other memorabilia.